So, today let's talk about science and ways not to fall asleep at the wheel while we're stuck at home. Be seeing you. This is Science Magazine's website. As it says, latest videos from Science Magazine, the world's leading outlet for scientific news, commentary, and cutting-edge research. Let me take you to some of the videos here. There it goes. Uh, strange stuff like half-dead sea urchin gets menaced by a hungry crab and lives to tell the tale. Uh, a lot of good stuff here that I liked. Telescope could see inside alien worlds. Possible returning to the moon. Pretty good stuff, actually, isn't it? This is NASA's website. I think you remember them. Has some live astronaut videos. Let me get to the video side. Uh, Earth Day, of course. Uh, a lot of Apollo 13 things, which is interesting. As a matter of fact, if I go up here to sort by the oldest, their first video apparently is from 11 years ago, and it was the Mercury 7 <laughs> music video, apparently some kind of music video. Uh, but they've got a lot of older videos from 11 years ago. Hubble, the Apollo 8 40th anniversary. And I know a lot of you aren't as old as me, but I remember Apollo 8 and Apollo 13, and Apollo 11. I remember being very small and young and actually watching Apollo 11 land live. So this is a really good website if you like that kind of history. Minute physics probably be above my pay grade. I'm not the brightest soul in the world, but has a lot of interesting physics in here. Things like days with more than 24 hours. And let me see if there's anything great here. Length contraction and time, time dilation. dilation. Time, time dilation. dilation. Time, time dilation. dilation. And the brown dwarf debate, which ones are planets? Me, I'm on the side of Pluto, but I'm old. That's the way I am. And, of course, the, my favorite kind of stuff, time travel and fiction rundown. That sounds really fun. But, of course, they take a more practical physics attitude towards all of this stuff. Ah, the twin paradox resolved. And gravitational waves explained. And the grandfather paradox resolved. I'm so glad they resolved those things. And we have Scientific American. A lethal fire tornado. What do honeybees do in winter? Honestly, I have no idea. How do we measure the distance to stars? A very long ruler? Probably not. Oh yeah, why do allergies make you sneeze? That I really need an answer to, especially in springtime right now. Here's a channel called Space Videos, has live streams from space. It's pretty cool. Everything from watching the moon to seeing the Earth from space from the International Space Station. This website is Explore Live Nature Cams. And it's pretty much exactly what it says. You can see animals from all around the world, live and in living color. Everything from elephants to rhinos, bald eagles, manatees, And then we have Explore Oceans, Animals Underwater. You name it, it looks like they've got it. Seals, orcas, jellyfish. 
West Coast sea nettles. You might have heard of TED, Technology Education Design. Well, this is TED Ed that likes to spread ideas by giving you some educational videos. Things like what happens if you cut down all of the city's trees? Why isn't the Netherlands underwater? How one woman put man on the moon. How bones make blood. Who invented alcohol? World War II surprising secret agent. Physics Girl talks about experiments in physics. 20 easy experiments at home, that's pretty cool. World largest camera lens. Five scary physics experiments. List goes on. And I wanted to end with Science Channel. Basically, a bunch of science videos, but it's cool because it has a lot of Mythbusters episodes on it.